Hey, hey, everybody, it's your boy Durier Rashad here for another edition of The Spot, your all access backstage pass to all things Springer. And of course, I got the tea and all the current events on everything theater, arts, and culture. Now, this week, it's all about the children, okay? We going in for the kids. So all y'all parents at home, stressed out, looking for something to do with them little rascals when you strangle them? Well, we got something for you. So let's dive right in. Well, no pun intended. You, you'll just see what's up. One of the Springer Opera House's newest endeavors, Theater for the Very Young, is emerging between early childhood education and education through the arts. You see, you, you give them a little culture when they're young, then they grow up to be good people. That's how it's supposed to work. We are graced with the presence of Miss Sally Baker, who is the education director at the Springer Opera House. Yes, so anything at the Springer that has children in it, I'm over. Right. But I grew up a child actor at the Springer. I did my first show here in 1984. You do not look like no 1984. <laughs> Thank you. I'm shocked. <laughs> Tell us about the theater for the very young. Um, theater for the very young is a kind of model of theater that creates theater for kids zero to five years old and they're big people. This has been happening in Europe for the last 30 or 40 years, and it's really? a pretty new uh, model for the U.S. Over the course of about two and a half or three weeks, the director, which I'm directing them all this year, but the director works with a, a team of young actors, okay. and we devise a script. For Deep Blue Sea, our target age is three and four-year-olds. Okay. And so we learned, we took about a day and a half just to learn about three and four-year-olds, what they're doing, what they should be able to do cognitively, what they should be able to do physically, developmentally, and then we build all of those things into the show. That's a lot. You, you think about a, a, um, <laughs> a, a theater company getting doing rehearsals for two or two and a half weeks and getting a show up is crazy, but we're, we're actually creating the story right. and, and putting the show up in that two and a half weeks. But really it's about the audience's uh, experience interacting with this piece of theater because we're teaching the littlest ones, our babies, how to watch theater. And it's a theater that is intentionally interactive and it's adaptive and it's sensory and all of these like wonderful, most wonderful parts of theater all put into this little, you know, 20 or 30 minute play. If a child stands up and has a reaction or um, we've had kids walk on stage before and become part of the action, but we don't stop the play and make them go sit back down they become part of the action of the play. This week, we're throwing the spotlight on an entire production. That's right, it's Spotlight On for Deep Blue Sea, the latest production in the Springer's Theater for the Very Young series. Check it out. So how did you come up with the concept for Deep Blue Sea? Well, this is very exciting. And, and here's the inside scoop. Okay. Last we got year. It. Oh, wait, wait. The spot has an exclusive right now. That's, that's right. That's right. Okay. Here it is. Let's hear it. So last year, part of our children's theater series, we did Rainbow Fish, the, the published play Rainbow Fish for mm -hmm. our children's theater. Um, and our scenic painter did such a beautiful job in creating and painting this like very lifelike and, and beautiful coral and shells and all kinds of this underwater that I said, we're gonna do a theater for the very young so we can use these set pieces again. And that was one part of it. Part of it. The other part is I have a three-year-old and a nine-year-old. Okay. And when my nine-year-old was about three, she had a little stuffed sea turtle that she named Tuttle. And she was trying to say the word turtle, but she didn't uh, say it, so she named it Tuttle. So Tuttle is the protagonist in Deep Blue Sea. Oh my and God, I, this is so cute. I know. And I can't. The, the third part of it was, Thinking of, as an education director, I really wanted to challenge our kids to to let go of those kind of creative values. Yes, yes. So, and this way, we don't have to pay rights to anything. We don't that have part. To worry about that rights. part. So, you know. That is awesome. Uh, how, how we have rehearsals then? Oh, exciting! Wonderful. Exciting. What has been either? the funniest moment of rehearsal or this process or your favorite moment? We start with Tuttle's birthday. Okay. She has just earned, she's 10 years old and we learned how to count the 10 all of that. And uh, she has earned the privilege of going and swimming outside of her neighborhood with her sea turtle friends. Mm -hmm. And 
there's a like a recurring fishermen that come and they just drop trash in the ocean and they never understand that dropping trash in the ocean is affecting the animal. So Tatchel, um, now don't tell me but this is a spoiler. Sea turtles often think that plastic bags are jellyfish and 52% of all sea turtles will eat some kind of human trash in their life. Isn't that crazy? 52%. And about half of them who do, who do die from it. So I'm, I'm it. also surprised that turtles eat jellyfish. That's oh, surprising to me. They are they're their favorite food because <laughs> you know how sea turtle sea turtles are always characterized as like like kind of like people that pain. Right, right. Kind of like, yeah. Because there's an enzyme in jellyfish that mimics the effect of like marijuana. No freaking way! <laughs> I'm done. I can't do it. <laughs> Are you serious? That is not in our play. <laughs> so, uh, Tuttle swallows a jelly or sw swallows a plastic bag mm -hmm. with no pot, <laughs> no pot experience. None of that though. Um, no marijuana experience. But uh, Tuttle swallows a, a, um, a, a plastic bag, thinks it's a jellyfish, and she starts to choke on it. And so, um, Tuttle's two friends that are with her think quickly and they call the doctor, which in the ocean is the doctopus, the doctor octopus. When doctopus like performs a surgery on Tuttle, um, it rotates and has all different things. Um, it's just, it's That sounds funny. fun. That sounds fun. Yeah, very fun, yeah. The thing you would change if you could change anything. Of course, I always want like more technical stuff, more costumes, right. more whatever. But in that simplicity, there's a lot of charm that like, kids can go home and do this by themselves and they can put on a hat and pretend to be a new character mm. and all of a sudden they're in their own play. This is I think the fourth or fifth year of theater for the very young here at Springer. I think we get better at it every single time and every single performance. Um, I sit next to Paul Pierce, our producing artistic director, and I say, Paul, if I've done nothing else right in my job, mm this has been worth it. And he just nods and says, yes, you're right. Deep Blue Sea plays November 7th through the 15th, only in the Springer Plaza, accessible via the 2nd Street entrance, straight through the Hall of Trees. Also, be on the lookout for these upcoming projects from the Springer. Just in time for the holidays, it's the Winter Wonderettes, playing December 10th through the 20th. And a premium screening of Home Alone, playing three showings on Saturday, December 5th. Head on over to SpringerOperaHouse.org now to get your tickets. And while you're there, check out information about Giving Tuesday and see how you can support your local theater with a donation of any size. All right. I learned a whole lot today that I did not know before today. So it's time for me to go. But before I do, I want to remind y'all, if y'all have any thoughts, ideas, or suggestions, please feel free to send them to us at our email, social at springeroperahouse.org, or you can hit us up on Facebook or Instagram at Springer Opera House. All right, y'all, that's our time for today. I love you guys, and I want to thank you for joining us on another edition of The Spot, your all-access backstage pass to all things Springer, and you know I'm always going to have the tea and the current events for all the theater, arts, and the culture. This is Duryea signing off, reminding y'all to be safe and spread love. And wear your mask on your face. <laughs>